Today's Instagram babe of the day is. Mm. Ooh, Chloe Tourette. Now she's a Toronto native who boasts 2 million Instagram followers and she follows 400 people. Who the hell is she following? Well, while I figure that out, let's take a roll, a look at some of her work. Yeah. Now that video was a whole lot of butt. In fact, it was so much I had to sit down. Now, Chloe Ture, she is of Italian and Dutch descent, and she was born in 1993. That makes her about, what, 24, 25, 26? Good for her. Now, um, she began modeling at a very young age, but she didn't get serious about it until she was 16. Let's take a look at some of her pics. Okay, the one that really caught my eye is this one where she is in a, a Canadian bikini, or, or she's got the Canadian flag on her bikini, and she's kind of exposing, but then covering. She's just doing a lot. And she wrote, long overdue, I'm finally coming home, see you in a few Toronto. I actually, you know, messaged her, like, maybe we could do here before they're famous. She did not get back to me. Why don't you like me? All right, just scrolling through some pics here. Um, she's got a great, fantastic, you know, uh, look from the back. You know, the butt is, uh, <laughs> it's quite remarkable. She's, um, Oh, fuck, I don't know what to say. It's just uh, good for her. Here's a picture of her. I guess she was home for the holidays because there's snow everywhere. She wrote, walking in my winter wonderland. Uh, but uh, again, no idea where. Someone in the comment section said, the most beautiful snowflake in Canada. <laughs> Relax, Peter King 77. <laughs> um, oh man, of course, when there's a good looking girl like this, her friends, um, There's she's at, Toronto off to Atlanta to bring the new year with the best thing that's happened to me since 2017 becoming best friends with Holly Bortolazzo. Holly Bortolazzo looks fantastic. I'm gonna have to write her on the wheel for the next video. Um, wow, good for these girls. So she does a lot of traveling and I think that has something to do with her career but when she comes to the six she really lights it up. Here's uh, her at the Leafs game. Um, again, like I said, she's, 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 um, what else we got here? She's also promoting the Fit Tea. Now, just because it's the holiday season doesn't mean you have to be rocking a winter bot. Excited to start my 14 detox with Fit Tea. Now, if any of you guys have ever used Fit Tea, does it actually work? I really don't believe that's the secret to these women's success, but that's just me. I'd like to know if anyone's used it, if they've seen any actual results, Regardless, um, whew, man. Okay, one more picture. This girl's on a bed and she's wearing very little, but her underwear band is up here. It doesn't connect to the actual underwear. I'm very confused. This photo has gotten 30,000 likes uh, and was taken in Toronto. Oh my gosh. I can't believe such beauty is so close to me and yet so far. So the information on Chloe is a little far and few between, but I did find some information on her IMDB account. She stated she used to work at a Playboy club in Cancun, but since then she's been a playmate 10 times internationally. Here's a quote. I started modeling when I was three. My mom was a Versace model and I wanted to follow her in her footsteps. When I was 18, I worked at the Playboy Club in Cancun and I ended up shooting for Playboy Mexico. Since then, I've been an international playmate all over the world. She was not only the February 2013 Playboy of the Month in the Mexican edition of Playboy and the June of 2013 Playmate of the Month in the South African edition, but was also South Africa's Playmate of the Year in 2014. Now, I for one, I don't actually understand these international playboys. Can they not just all use one and then circulate that around the world? Why do they all need their own? I mean, they're sharing the same women. They're just flying them to their country. Anyway, Chloe was voted Playboy Cyber Girl of the Month for January of 2014 and the Cyber Girl of the Year for 2015. Another quote from her is, nude modeling is definitely my passion. <laughs> That's great. You know, if you're good at it, of course she is. Why not? <laughs> Just feel like you need another skill in life, but I, I don't know. I'm, I, who am I to say? She's living a better life than me. Now, Ture did her first nude shoot for Playboy Plus in November of 2013, and um, well, she didn't have much to say there. She just, uh, you know, well, I guess I read the quotes already. So, fuck, my phone was going, so. Who is it? If it's Landon, I'm gonna fucking kill him. 
She's worked with Playboy, like I said. She's also worked with Maxim, 66, FHM, Sports Illustrated, and she's been in 47 different countries. Now, I could make an entire before they were famous on Chloe, but um, that's really all the information I can find. Perhaps if this gets a bunch of views, a bunch of likes, we can send it to her and then she'd be down to collaborate. So maybe you guys help me, I'll help you. And then we'll see if we can get that done. My name is Michael McCredden and this was your babe of the day, Chloe Ture. Be sure to check her out on Instagram. While you're doing that, you can follow me at McCreddenM. And uh, let me know what other babes you want me to talk about, look at some pictures of, and react to. Really glad I sat down for this one. Okay. But my friend thinks we should name the, my producer Matt thinks we should name this series Boner Time. Let me know if you agree. Bye. Nude modeling is definitely my passion.